Hey guys, so it's Jamie from Leisure Gaming. In this video, I'm looking at the Betrayal DLC a few years later, about a year and a half or two years later. Uh, I know it's like a year and a half, but I just want to put two years later in the title. But uh, something I want to do at the beginning of this video is uh, just have you guys guess what time it is. Uh, whoever's closest to it in the next video will get featured. I'll just sort of put their comment up, but uh, yeah, try to guess what time I'm recording this video at. It's a bit of a different one. But, uh, First thing in the Betrayal DLC, you're just been going over everything in the DLC is Gun Bench, which allows you to customize your weapons. Most of you are familiar with this, but uh, you could customize your weapons, reticles, and it even gave you a firing range to shoot on. We're going to be going over the weapons next, just a brief look at each weapon in the DLC. We got the Dual Scorpions, those were super awesome. A lot of the footage is from the CTE, uh, just because I had it lying around uh, from way back in about January or February of 2016 but um got the dual scorpions m1903 sniper rifle which i did the world war ii loadout of uh when we knew that uh, battlefield one was coming actually we thought that it was going to be in the past i just kind of guessed and then we got the mp9 pistol which a lot of you think is the best pistol in the game uh very good up close fast fire rate i got the m98b uh one of my favorite sniper rifles in the game uh one of, I say, pretty much like all the snipers in the game. <laughs> but uh, pretty good sniper rifle overall. Slow fire rate, but very, very high damage. Um, and uh, yeah, that's about it for the M98B. The map we're looking at is Thin Ice right now. Uh, I don't have any other footage of this map, so that's pretty much why I d also decided to take this old footage, was because I could show off this map a little bit while using all the guns. Got the improvised gun there, the SPAR sniper rifle, semi-automatic DMR-ish like weapon. I rarely used it after the CTE, to be honest. We got the harpoon gun, used that in a video, or I may have. I recorded a video of this, I'm not sure if I ever posted it. But uh, if you guys do want that, tell me down below in the comments. Got the RPK-74, different from the RPK that came in the Robbery DLC. Um, and then next we're going to have the MX-4, I believe. Or AUG-3, my bad. Old Battlefield 4 weapon. Uh, plays a lot different than the Battlefield 4 weapon. I'd say this weapon is absolutely abysmal, whereas the Battlefield 4 one was actually decent. <laughs> next we got the MX-4 SMG. Uh, pretty good, decent SMG. I mean... Not really overpowered in any sense, but uh, it'll hold its own in close quarters engagements. Has that nice hip fire and reload. We got the M4 shotgun, a very fast running gun shotgun. Uh, fast fire rate and reload, especially for a shotgun. And then the last two weapons we're going to be no going over are the Syndicate gun, which this is what the original Syndicate gun looks like. It didn't have that 4 times sight, it didn't have the crazy bullet spread, and it had a really good hip fire. This was when this gun was overpowered in the CTE. And then they decided to give it crazy bullet spread, like we have on the second version right here, and a ugly sight. So uh, that really disappointed me after using that weapon in the CTE so much to see that they changed it once they brought it into the real game. But it's still a pretty cool gun, especially the assignment that you do to complete it. And now the last gun we have is the Mammoth Gun. For both the Syndicate Gun and the Mammoth Gun, I have some... Uh, real footage on some of the other maps. Um, I wasn't really focused on getting footage with the other weapons, uh, so that's why we don't have them. But uh, you saw the mammoth gun there on Cemetery, and we're going to continue the rest of the video looking onto the different maps on the Betrayal DLC. So we're using the AWM on Cemetery. Uh, this is a very big map with five flags. It's uh, based in sort of a stormy-like area, and obviously based off the title, you know that it's based off a cemetery. Um, it's very sort of hilly, there's a lot of different hills, and a sort of different paths that you can take to get to different places. There's a hearse on this map, uh, which you can drive around a lot. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the only map that has the hearse on it, actually. And um, you can also play Hot Wire on this map, which is pretty fun. But right now we're going to show the coolest part of this map, which is the Betrayal DLC Syndicate Gun Unlock Easter Egg. If you guys want some nostalgia, go back and look at my old videos of how to unlock the Syndicate Gun. Uh, it was super, super awesome, this video. And as you can see right here, we're going down into the catacombs to unlock this weapon. This is actually the one where I unlock it. Uh, me and a bunch of people were all trying to get it right here. Even though we were all coordinated, it was my turn. But I was just trying to get there first to make sure no one else took it. And I get the syndicate gun right here. And since no one else can grab it, I decided to kill my friend RSB Heisenberg. Uh, he's one of the OGs. He was here back in the day. I used to play with him on PC all the time. Han Solo. And he was really cool. Team Crispy, the YouTube channel, if you guys don't remember it. But and now we got Chinatown. We got some M416 gameplay. 
And uh, this map is the remake of Grand Bazaar from Battlefield 3. One of the considered one of the best maps in Battlefield 3, and honestly one of the best maps in the Battlefield franchise. But the only twist that they brought here is that they made it a night map. Now Shadow Six, uh, who's a very good cinematic maker, played around with a night version, a day version of this map actually, which I really wish they would have brought to the game because it was super cool. But uh, besides that, this map it does have the uh, Mammoth Gun Easter Egg. So you collect all the sort of mammoths and then you go into this room and you can interact and unlock the mammoth gun which is sort of the main feature of this map. As you can see I'm unlocking it right there. And now the last map we're going to look over is Alcatraz because we already looked at Thin Ice and I didn't wasn't able to get any extra footage of that map. Uh, servers weren't really running it and when they were I forgot to record it. So we're playing on some Alcatraz based in the San Francisco prison. Uh, retired prison I should say. But uh, this map is pretty cool. It's one of my favorite maps in the game, honestly. It's a very close quarters map, but it does have a really nice flow to it because of the different levels and sort of prison uh, cells you can hide in. Um, and I especially love using the Thompson on this map just because of the whole gangster theme. But this map's really cool, and honestly, the Betrayal DLC is one of the best DLCs in Battlefield Hardline, in my opinion. It brought Gun Bench, it brought a ton of new weapons, as you could see, and some melee weapons that I didn't necessarily go over because they're just melee weapons, but it brought stuff like the Inquisition Sword, which are really cool. I also brought Snowmobiles and the Hearse. Uh, I, one of my favorite DLCs because it was one of the ones where I got early access myself to the CTE, and I was talking with Heisenberg and all those guys about early access and when we were going to complete the Easter egg. And I was actually one of the first people to complete the Easter egg in the world, which was really cool to be a part of that with this game, as that stuff doesn't really happen so much in Battlefield 1 uh, because there are so many bigger YouTubers that play it. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like down below. Tell me if you want more videos going over old DLCs. Don't forget to tell me what time this video was recorded at when I asked you guys. Uh, but that's what it was for you guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.